Alrighty, good day and welcome. My name is Mr. JB and today we're going to be going through another photo to be tutorial. I've shown something similar to this and this tool, um, but we're going to do a different way about it. We're going to be doing some removing backgrounds. We're going to be using the magic cut rather than the magic wand tool. You can use the magic wand tool to kind of help this procedure along uh, when you're on those final stages just to kind of do the touch ups. But this is just a nice quick way to remove backgrounds. This doesn't work the best for complicated backgrounds but it is still possible it just takes a little bit more time and a little bit more finesse when you're going through that procedure today i'm going to be using this image of joel from the last of us um, i've got a couple different ones just to kind of show you how this works and kind of what struggles you might run into uh, should you be trying this for yourself so without further ado we're gonna remove this and we're gonna turn back on our original image and we're gonna use magic cut so when we're using Magic Cut, we can either go to Select, and go to Magic Cut, or we can do the search and type it in as well. Um, so Select, Magic Cut. It'll take a second, depending on what type of device you're on, this can be pretty slow. If you're a student using a Chromebook or you're just using a Chromebook in general, I do find this to kind of take a little bit of time when you're going through this. Uh, Photopea is a pretty demanding program for Chromebooks, so you might end up having some issues. Up here, you'll notice there's three selections, the foreground, and there's the race and then there is our background um, if there's a spot that you don't want that ends up being selected as you can see on the right then you'll just use the red to deselect it so that way it's not grabbed but i'm going to start off by grabbing the green and just kind of drawing the spots putting a couple little dots little areas on certain colors and certain spots that i want to show up again sometimes it gets a little laggy and it takes a moment as you can tell mine just kind of froze a little bit and there we go and just kind of slowly start to build in the areas that I want to have for Joel. We're going to bring that back right there and try and return some of the hair. Perfect. And now there's some areas that I don't want, so I'm just going to end up grabbing the red and slowly trying to work my way around. Now, this image, the colors and the lighting are very similar. So this is an image that's a little bit more challenging. The ones that I've chosen do have a little bit more of a challenge. But you can sit here and you can kind of go through and work your way on kind of selecting those areas to remove them. You can see that one on the left went very well because there's a little bit more of a hard line on Joel's face where his hair and that gray is a little bit more similar in color. So it's just something that takes a little bit more time on going through now once i've selected that i know it's not fantastic um, but i'm going to click ok and i'm going to accept it and we can see i've still got a bunch of stuff uh, that's usually where this tool struggles a little bit more is when there are those similar bits but you can always use the magic wand tool and try and grab those areas you can always use the magic wand tool to start grabbing some of those areas and just kind of building your way around that person or that character and I'm just holding the shift button as I'm doing that stuff and then I'll just press delete when I'm done after I jam through an area that I want to grab. Now you could just do this to start rather than the magic cut but the magic cut can be quicker depending on what your image looks like. Uh, if it's got a more similar single tone background and it's easier to grab usually that works really well for that just an alternative way around using the magic wand. Now on our other image we're going to go through and we're going to try and cut out the background it's a little easier to see some of those harder lines so this one can work a little bit better when we're doing that selection you can see right off the bat we've already selected a lot better of an image when it's grabbing this so we really just need to end up grabbing the red and kind of tapping some of these areas that we want to remove slowly working my way down oh we just removed ellie and if you need to adjust your brush size, you just go up here to the top and grab that. I'm going to lower my brush size a little bit. And we're going to try and work our way down a little bit more. Now, again, when you get close, if you're happy with it and it's close enough at that point in time, you can always hop back in and use the magic wand tool. The magic wand tool is just another way to quick select. It just grabs colors that look similar to whatever it is. So that way you can select them, erase them, alter them, do whatever it is that you're going to do. That's really all that it's there for. Now I'm just going to click OK, again same deal, and I'm going to use the magic wand to grab some of these areas down here. Slowly going to grow this lump, 
and if I need to adjust my tolerances or whatever that is, I'm just gonna end up grabbing that. Perfect. So again, it's not fantastic for this. The best way is to go around and trace your image, zooming in and properly cutting out your person. But this is just a quick way to grab and remove the background. Now there are some websites that can help you with this like backgroundremover.bg. That's a, another program that you can use to assist you with that. Uh, so use that, I'll put that in the description below so you have access to that program if you want it. I do find that it's a quick way to attempt it. And if it doesn't work, this is just another alternative method that you can use within the photo feed life. That's all for today. That's all we're gonna cover, a pretty quick tutorial. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something. Have a wonderful day, take care and be safe.